Welcome back to another episode of Backpacking in Latin America, in which two Irish people make their way from Mexico to Brazil over land, whilst trying to avoid lip filler. You rejoin us in the city of Foz de Iguazu after a day spent exploring the Brazilian side of the Iguazu Falls, as well as a brief visit to the Paraguayan city of Ciudad del Este. One might assume that our main priority would be to get some well-deserved rest after such a busy day. However, tonight we were on the move again. Good evening. For our next move, we had a choice. We could either get a 17-hour night slash day bus to a place called Florianapolis, stay there a couple of nights, and then from there get another night bus to Sao Paulo. We could do that or Or we could just skip Florianapolis and fly straight to Sao Paulo. Yeah, let's do that. Hoping beyond hope that I can get some sleep on this flight. Now, obviously, the final destination is Parati. We are in Sao Paulo at the minute. The first bus doesn't leave Sao Paulo until 8 a.m. in the morning, isn't it? So we have, what time is it now? Um, it's like 1.30. It's like half past one in the morning now. So we have like hours to kill. We're either going to find a place in the airport or there is a thing called fast sleep where you can rent a room by the hour in Terminal 2. No. No. No espacio? No. Ah, absolute disaster. Yeah, so... Let's try and find a comfortable place that we can bed down for a couple of hours here. It is almost seven o'clock in the morning and I got a little bit of sleep, but I've woken up like this. What the hell is that about? I'm going to wear the mask just so I don't like frighten any children, <laughs> but um. Yeah, we're leaving the airport now, finally. We're heading for a bus station where hopefully we can get a ticket for a bus at eight o'clock. A short 10 minute walk from the bus terminal brought us to our hostel, where the potentially inebriated hostel worker struggled to locate our booking. Sarah? Yeah, show me down. So, uh, one. Uh, Sarah? Yeah. Sarah? Sharing in. Um, uh, is? No. No. In the private room? Huh. Is Sarah gone? No. No. Um, mm -hmm. In the private ah, room. Yeah. 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 Right, here we are. Double bed. And just in case we fall out, some bunk beds. And then a private toilet as well, which Sarah wants to use now. Yes. Gracias. Incredibly fresh this morning after a good 17 hour sleep last night. We are headed out now to meet Jen and Jason, who you would have last seen in a Buenos Aires Irish pub where we had some fake Guinness. 
and we're just gonna chill out on the beach, maybe have a drink or two. Brazil yeah. like to put their spin on familiar chocolate bars. I just tried the Snickers Dark and it's nice. Jason thinks it's amazing. And then there's also this. I'm not really sure what I'm, it's just like a more chocolatey version of a Twix. Diabetes Twix. But um, <laughs> I'm, we're gonna leave that for a little bit. We also just tried this one, caramel and bacon Snickers. What do we think? Tastes like butt. Tastes like what? Butts. Butts. What about you? Not a thing. Not good. We did our bit of chilling out. We've had a couple of drinks. We're actually gonna head back into town now to do a walking tour. try this Twix triple chocolate so not single not double triple okay let's go Obrigado. <laughs> you like it mm, tastes that's like a, a Twix that's tastes a lot like of chocolate a, I kind of like it it reminds me of an I don't really see a difference no, really. same. it's no boost after this we made our way to the starting point of the walking tour and met our tour guide we're going to leave in two minutes' time. Two minutes, lovely. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Parachi was established formally as a town by Portuguese colonists in 1667 and became a bustling export hub not long after this, when gold was discovered in the nearby mountains. Unfortunately, as time progressed, Parachi became a hub not only for gold, but also for the trafficking and sale of African slaves evidence of which can still be seen here today. So this house here is a slave house. You've got windows up above. Here is where the cells were. That was the one little window that they had. And here then is the showroom where they were paraded. One of the things we noticed almost immediately about the town was the elevated position of each house's door relative to the street level. Our tour guide revealed that the streets were intentionally designed to be submerged during the highest tides. This periodic flooding, occurring approximately once a month during a full moon, serves as a natural cleansing mechanism for the streets. Can you feel the love I don't know how it's just scrapping. Yeah, I have a feeling. Can you remember the dog says, Supreme? Oh, hey, watch my Tupperware! Leaving Parachi, as I think it's called, only after two days, which is a shame. But we are headed for Isla... Isla Grande is what I call it, but I think it's called Isla Grande, with a J. So we're headed there today for once, in like not very typical form, especially with Sarah. We don't know how we're gonna get there. Maybe there's a bus and then a boat. Anger don't Hola, Anger yeah. yeah. Can we buy Belletto? 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 So yeah, like uh Chicken or boys, white eyes. Okay. Little set. Okay, I think you pay on the bus. Pay on the bus. Okay. As you can see we're still struggling massively with the Portuguese. It's like annoyingly similar to Spanish, like written down, but then they just speak it in such a strange way. It sounds like a Russian person speaking Spanish. That's the way I kind of explained it yesterday. We've made it to the town with the boat, but we're not very well after that bus journey. A terrible, terrible driver. The most aggressive acceleration and braking I've ever experienced. Hola. 
Hola. Hola. Hi. Are you speaking? Okay. We want to go to either Grande. Yeah. Yeah, Abra. Floor corn. Floor? Okay, perfect. Can we buy tickets here? No. I'm going to show you. Okay. Gracias, or abrigado. <laughs> And here we are, a beautiful private room again, though with bunk beds, which is hilarious. I suppose it's for a family, nice couch, a TV that has Netflix, which is always an addition. And then finally, an old private jacks. Which is good. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh. Uh, just look at this. We haven't actually properly seen island beachy vibes since Costa Rica, basically. So we are very, very happy to be back. And it feels almost like full circle because we're, we're nearly finished this trip. Today we are doing a hike to a beach called Lopez Mendez according to the app that Sarah downloaded. It's a 14k walk, but I just, I, I can't see it being that long. I could eat my words in about four hours, I'm not sure, but for now we're gonna get stuck in and see what it's like. Did I what? Your you know, these shoes have no grip. I wish I could say that this was our final destination, but we're not even halfway there yet. We don't really want to have to make the trek back, so we've just bought our tickets on a boat that will leave that beach at five. And I think we're about 20 minutes away now from Lopez Mendez. Looking forward to cooling off in the water. I have to say. And we have arrived. It took us two hours and 15 minutes to get here. So the four hours was probably a very fast round trip or a very, very slow uh, one way trip. Probably the first one. A really, really nice, relaxing afternoon we had on this class beach. The sun is setting, we need to go and get that boat. Of course, we met an Irish couple on the boat and ended up hitting the town hard that night. This was the only video I got. Asher, look, it's gas. Oh, look at the Irish, says the Irish woman. She's that queer guy. <laughs> and then I put my mouth over the muzzle and it was gas. Sure, look, come on, go away. Ah, uh, Wexford, what are you doing uh, in the sir, gas? What's the crack on, brother? Go away from me, will you? Ah, uh, brother. Brother. All uh, right, brother. God, this place is nice. Had we known how nice this was gonna be, we probably would have skipped Parachi, to be honest. I spent the morning very, very hungover. And then we got the news that... Queen of England died. And that's it. 
Today we start a two week stint of volunteering in a hostel. Good, good, good. 